We've been learning a lot about things that live in the ocean, haven't we? There's a lot of different things that God created that live in the ocean. I have made a really fun picture and it shows some things that maybe live in the ocean. This is called a crayon resist drawing. So it looks like the animals are under the water. To make this picture, you will need a piece of paper and you'll need some crayons. So I have my crayons. And then we're gonna need some watercolor that you'll, you'll just need, need the color blue. But if you choose to make your water in the ocean a different color, green or purple, that's okay too. But I chose to make mine um, blue, so I'm, I have my paintbrush, my paints, and some water. And I also have a piece of newspaper to protect the table when I do the painting. But before we um, make the picture, I thought it'd be fun to read a book about some things that live in the ocean. It's called Way Down Deep in the Deep Blue Sea. And this book is written by Jan Peck and illustrated by Valerie Petrone. There's some fish that live in. This is seaweed. Different kinds of sea plants live in the ocean too. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I'm looking for a treasure for my mama and me. I'm so brave, can't scare me. Way down deep in the deep blue sea. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a seahorse racing by me. Hello, seahorse. Giddy up, seahorse. See you later, seahorse. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a hermit crab hiding from me. Hello, crab. Peekaboo, crab. See you later, crab. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a starfish dancing by me. Hello, starfish. do si do starfish. See you later, starfish. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a sea turtle following me. Hello, turtle. Tag along, turtle. See you later, turtle. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy an octopus waving at me. Hello, octopus. Give me eight, octopus. See you later, octopus. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a... Dolphin swimming by me. Hello, dolphin. Hitch a ride, dolphin. See you later, dolphin. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a swordfish fencing with me. Hello, swordfish. Touche, swordfish. See you later, swordfish. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a whale spouting water by me. Hello, whale. Sing along, whale. See you later, whale. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy treasure gleaming at me. Hello, treasure. Pirate treasure. Take a long treasure. Swim away. Way down deep in the deep blue sea, I spy a shark laughing at me. Goodbye, shark. Goodbye, whale. Goodbye, swordfish. Goodbye, dolphin. Goodbye, octopus. Goodbye, turtle. Goodbye, starfish. Goodbye, hermit crab. Goodbye, seahorse. Up, up, up from the deep blue sea, I find Mama waiting for me. Hello, Mama. Guess what, Mama? I found treasure in the deep blue sea. And there's all the friends he saw. He was in the bathtub, wasn't he? That was a good imagination he had. But there's a lot of animals that we could use from that book to draw in our picture. So I'm gonna tell you the most important part about making this picture is that we have to press down very hard with our crayon. If I just do it really light, it's not gonna be a very um, good picture. So when I made this one, I had to press really hard with my crayons to make it dark. So what shall we make? One of the things in there was the starfish. 
and I'm gonna try to make myself a starfish. And sometimes a starfish, they have long pointed arms. And there's different starfish have different numbers. So I can just do it and if I, when I go all the way around, I'll stop. I finished all the arms and then I have to press down really hard. I color it hard. So when you do it, press, press, press. See how dark I'm writing on it? So it's a very dark starfish. Oh, I'm pushing down as hard as I can. That looks pretty good. Now I told you that sometimes there's seaweed, so you can make some seaweed coming up from the bottom of the ocean. What do you think is, um, what do you think is swimming by? Should we make an octopus? Make an octopus swimming by? Again, I have to push down hard, so I'm gonna make, how many legs does an octopus have? Okay, I'll, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Can I squeeze one more in? Eight. I'll give him some eyes. All right, so I'm gonna work on mine and I'm gonna put some more sea animals in there. And I, what am I gonna do? Push down hard and make it as dark as you can. And you work on yours. And when your picture is all the way you like it and you have all the animals that you like, then we'll come back and see what we do next. Okay, press down hard. All right, have you got your picture ready? I added to mine, I've got some fish and some seaweed and my oct octopus and a, a starfish. You can put whatever you like. Just remember, we're pushing down hard and wherever the crayon is, it's going to resist the blue watercolor. So you'll see everywhere where there isn't any crayon, you see blue. So you have to think about that. This fish has some blue in him because the wash is there. So now we're gonna do the wash. I'm gonna put some newspaper down. And I have my, um, I'm gonna get my paintbrush wet. And this is called a watercolor wash. So we want the color of the paint to be um, not too dark. Because see how dark that is? We want it to be lighter than that because this is a wash. So I want to make a kind of a watery, make it a little bit watery so it doesn't make it too dark. And do you see what's happening? The water won't go where the crayon is. It's called a resist. Inside of the crayon is wax, and so the water won't go where the crayon is. You see how it's, it's, it's repelling it? So you can see the picture. Otherwise, we would just be covering up our picture, but because it's made with wax, we can see our picture. It looks like they're underwater. So I'm washing all over it, so we have water, because they're deep down in the deep blue sea. There's those fish swimming in the water now. This is another fun way to paint. There sure are a lot of fun ways to paint. Now, oh, octopus is under the water. Plenty of paint on it, but not too dark. It's, you can make more than one of these and experiment with how you like your colors to look. Everyone is going to look different. This is the way mine's going to look. It looks different from the first one I made, doesn't it? That's what art, what is special about art. It's never quite the same. All right, I think I need, I'm, I'm going to add a little bit more over here to make it the way I want it to look. I think I'm happy with that, and then I'll let that dry. It's deep, deep. Blue ocean. You can see it's a little different from my other picture, isn't it? I wonder what you're going to put in your ocean. If you have time, take a picture of it and, and so I can see what you've made. Okay, have fun painting!